Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. Jumbo edition, eight boxes, pick your team number eight. Big thank you to everybody here for making it happen. On Monday the 18th, eight box eight. Mark, you got official last spot mojo before we pull the remaining teams for the fillers. If you have Blaster 6 next to your name, that means you won spots in that, won teams in that filler. Congrats. And, and John is here looking for some Mariners. Uh, Colt, right? That Colt guy? All right, let's pull the camera back a little bit. Make myself a little space here. P. Right, all right, those are our guys. Those are the guys that we're looking for. All right, so there are all eight boxes right here. Settle in, hang tight. And good luck. myself here. Turn some of these boxes this way. Our uh, resident Cubs fan, Cubs fan representative Rex was like, what are the Cubs doing? He's getting a little little annoyed that some, some things aren't happening. I think we still have to wait for that Yamamoto domino to fall. You know, maybe the Cubs are making bids on Yamamoto. If, they, if they're not successful there, then maybe they'll, they'll look to maybe try to bring Bellinger back. And I think a lot of teams probably bidding on Yamamoto. I think I read something somewhere that that he's done with all the team meetings and that now today and the today and tomorrow might be might be when they're accepting bids and they'll spend the next couple days considering those bids, countering in some cases maybe. And there could be another uh, another Saturday announcement. Friday, Saturday, end of, end of week announcement. Before Christmas, I would think. All right, we got Skeens, we got Colt Emerson. And our first auto is Hunter Holland for the Reds. That's going to be for Adam. The spot that he won in the filler. Third round pick. Max Clark, Charlie Soto, uh, not numbered, but it is a parallel. So is that Lunar, not numbered, but it's a parallel all card ship, of course.
Max Clarks will go to uh, Mark Mark B and the Tigers. Mark Mark L is here. Zanatello and Campbell Soup. Let's try to let's try to find those guys. Here's Juan Soto's brother, Elian Soto. Forty-two out of four ninety-nine. Uh, that's Paul with the Nationals. His younger brother. Got a Austin Trosser, 193 out of 199 for the Mets. Mark B with the Metropolitans. We want to look for with uh, with Boston. Oh, that's Max Anderson. There's Matt Shaw for the Cubs. Some glass coming up, and it's Matt Shaw glass. Greg for the Cubbies. Nice. Yeah, who knows? I don't know what this the scouting report is on Little Soto. Um. Headline, the National 2023 International Signing Class has shown tremendous physical growth in the past year. He's 6'2", 225. Is he bigger than Juan Soto? Controlled swing with full extension, significant power potential, rotates hips violently during contact, creating max force, attacks middle of diamond. Swing is more powerful than Juan's at this age, according to Blue Jay slugger Vlad Guerrero Jr., so some good good endorsements there. Also, as a fan of Bad Bunny, like a lot of uh, like a lot of people, I enjoy the Bad Bunny. Juan Soto is 6'2", 224, so they're about the same size. If it turns out to be anything like his brother, maybe the Nationals will try to keep this Soto this time. They change ownership recently. These new owners will be like, "Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna have to invest in in our own homegrown players, not let them walk." That's really yeah, max for, force from the hips. That's where you generate the power. And another red team. Two reds in here. Rhett Louder. Blue Wave autograph. Another one for Adam in Cincinnati. Got two of the three in the box, Adam. 86 out of 150. Seventh overall pick. Yeah, we've hit... We've hit like two or three Brady autos. I personally haven't. But I know Michael Jaspi pulled... A out of 50 auto. Did Teddy pull an out of 50 auto? 
I think I pulled a Brady non auto to like 75 or something like that. So they're lurking, they're out there. If you follow us on uh, social media, at Jaspi's Breaks, you'll probably be able to see some of those. All right, Rock Riggio, yellow Lunar, 71 out of 75. We'll go to Matt Smith and the Yankees. Another Wyatt Langford. All these are going to go to Tristan. Max Clarks will go to Mark B. All right, so those are our first three autographs. Next box. What else is happening in base? I guess we're just waiting on Yamamoto to, to, to sign and then maybe some more dominoes will fall. Other more minor news, Giants and Tom Murphy agree to a two-year deal. Pirates and Martin Perez agree to a one-year deal. Gilo's Royals sign, sign Michael Waka. Orioles and Maryland approve a new lease agreement. Hey, no worries, Matt. Thanks for getting into the action. I appreciate it. Diamondbacks signed Lourdes Gurriel to a three-year deal. And that's about it. What else? Pirates signing Rowdy Tellez. Royals finalizing a two-year deal with Hunter Renfro. Max Scherzer getting that back surgery. You know what's kind of screwing up some of the some of the money for some teams is uh, are those regional networks those regional sports networks going under has really jammed up a lot of teams Yeah, I, th I think it's like, what, 30 years or something like that? Yeah, I didn't think they were going to be going anywhere. They might even get some... Uh... Yeah, they might get some upgrades too. Camden Yards. There's an, apparently a new Maryland law. The hope is they can work out a longer deal that would allow them to take advantage of a new Maryland law and borrow $600 million for stadium upgrades, which would be pretty awesome. Especially if like new ownership would probably like that too, if that deal goes through. Yeah, $600 million, right? So what are they plan? What are the upgrades? they were in talks with some uh or maybe that's maybe that's all it was some talks but yeah I've, I've never i've never been i i, I want to you know the national used to the baltimore used to be in the rotation for the national they haven't been there in almost almost a decade i think I'd like to go to a ball game down there. Here's our first auto, Cooper Ingle for the Guardians, Tristan. Cleveland, this is for you. Uh, a Braves like retail complex and development. Once that's done, they really should bring the National back to Baltimore. That'd be awesome.
Nice orange Emmanuel Bonilla, 17 out of 25. A little orange parallel for the Blue Jays. That's going to be for Adam. Well, that'd be good. That $600 million would go far. Yeah, build some, build some more, uh, you know, kind of redevelop the surrounding area. You know, yeah. Infrastructure updates, scoreboard, some HVAC stuff, upgrade. Steve Ballmer out here in LA loves toilets. Upgrade those toilets. I remember when Dodger Stadium did those. Back in the day, Dodger Stadium was, you know, like a lot of older stadiums. In the men's bathroom, at least, just long trough. But then when they, uh, when they redid the bathrooms, it was like, it's like a brand new ballpark. It's like when you, uh, if you redo a, redo the bathroom in your house or something, it just feels like a new house. There's, there's uh, Enrique Broadfield Jr. for the O's, speaking of the Orioles, that's for Neil, some glass. Yeah, that's one of my, like, I want to go to... Ooh, nice 3 out of 10, Jacob Wilson. Roy and the A's. Got the A's in the filler. Yeah, the troughs are real awkward. But I, I feel like sort of a, a rite of passage in a way if you're like a if you're 10 year old Joe Jaspi trying to squeeze squeeze in between very large people go to the bathroom there's Davison Gutierrez 97 out of 99 green paper Wyatt Lankford Tristan and the Rangers Colt Emerson Chrome. And we got a Dodger autograph, Dylan Campbell. There you go. That's Adam Copperman with my Dodgers. 34 out of 99, a fourth round pick. Max Clark number? No. Nice color in this box here. Jacob Wilson paper. And there's our third auto, Zach Thornton. Zach Grant Thornton, that's gonna go to the Metropolitan's Mark B with the Metropolitans. So if we find another numbered card before the next box. Speckles are not numbered. All right, nice box. We'll do a recap at the end. We'll show you all those again at the end. All right, uh, I guess we'll do the top boxes first. 
All right, box three. So, I was going to read this MLBTradeRumors.com article to you while I rip, rip these packs. Amazon and Diamond Sports discussing potential streaming deal. One of MLB's bigger off-field stories of the past would be in the bankruptcy of Diamond Sports Group. The conglomerate struggles to meet its broadcasting deals has left teams contract with Diamond, which operates the Bally Sports Regional Network, in an uncertain position. Leaves them in an uncertain position about revenues they can expect from their local television contract. This has been re re reflected in a few clubs, the Padres, Rangers, uh, Matt mentioned the Twins. As Diamond's bankruptcy process continues, Lauren Thomas and Joe Flynn of the Wall Street Journal report, that the corporation is engaged with Amazon about a potential multi-year streaming agreement. Discussions which are not complete and would need to be approved by a bankruptcy court, even if Diamond and Amazon reach an agreement, would see Amazon invest in Diamond with the goal of eventually acquiring streaming rights for teams on those broadcasts. Diamond would continue to operate its cable networks. There's been a general expectation that Diamond's reorganization will see the business side We'll see the business abandon all of its broadcasting deals with MLB after the 2024 season, says Evan Grelick of The Athletic wrote last week in the Diamond MLB. We're nearing agreement on a deal that would at least provide clarity on how which of its uh, 11 contracts it would honor for the 2024 campaign. The Athletic reported last month that the company was considered dropping its contract with the Rangers and Guardians before season, before next season. Even if Diamond meets most of or all of its obligations for next season, those clubs won't have clarity on how things will play out in 2025 and beyond. The potential for Amazon to support the company in exchange for streaming opportunities offers some optimism, but it remains very early in that process. So the full list of teams involved here, the Angels, Braves, Brewers, Cardinals, Guardians, Marlins, Rangers, Rays, Reds, Royals, and Tigers have contracts with the Diamond. The company abandoned deals with the Padres and Diamondbacks during the 2023 season, while its contract with the Twins expired at the end of the year. So pretty crazy stuff. I feel like a lot of money was thrown around those regional deals. All right, next. Yeah, Gio, you like the idea of, yeah, I mean, live sports, that's one of the few things that, that we all watch together collectively at the same time with active eyeballs and it's good for advertising. Someday, you know, we'll advertise here on Jaspies, there'll be like an ad <laughs> up there. On my on my thumb right here, maybe they'll be like Disney Plus ad. This break brought to you by Zip Recruiter. John saw a crazy jumbo box earlier today. Twelve autos, rest are all refraction color, no base paper, no paper cards. Ooh, nice Matt Shaw. Refractor autograph for the Cubs, Greg and the Cubbies. Two eighty five out of four ninety nine. Matt's thinking it sounds like it was that it was resealed. Someone rigged it like that. For the content maybe? Jaspi Prime shipping, yeah, we'll, we'll send those, we'll send them to you uh, via drone. Your order will be shipped to you via drone. Maybe a hot box? There's Matt Shaw, your 13th overall pick, just saw his autograph. I don't know, we've, we've seen, we've seen weird things. Happened. Oh, I thought that was Jake Wilson. And we got a Kendall George. For the Dodgers. 
their late first round pick. That's going to be for Adam. There's a Jacob Wilson right there. So the first box I feel like had all red teams. This box so far, blue teams. What does that mean? I don't know. Just no, just noticing things. And we got Cade Morris. I guess it's kind of a blue team as well. For the Mets, Mark B. And Anthony Gutierrez, another blue team. Blue Chrome to 150. Tristan with Texas. No, solo, Matt. Going solo on this. These parallels not numbered. Everything ships. And here is the Nazan Zanatello. Aqua Lava Autograph. This is exactly what Mark L was looking for. Red team, 56 out of 199. So two blue teams and a red team in this box. Spencer Nevins, blue team to 499. SKS and the Royals. We got our three autos. What else do we have? We got some. We got a noble Meyer, very noble Meyer. Glass. It's going to be for Adam and the Marlins. And we got four S ninety five Michael Royo um, for John. And the Mariners. All right, box four. Good luck, everybody. So where does everyone think uh, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, where, where does he end up? Yankees, Matt's thinking Yankees.
Yeah, I mean, a lot of Dodger fans out here in, in, in L.A. Are, are sign everybody, you know, obviously, but I'm not sure if the Dodger can get Yamamoto. But I feel like there's a there's another Japanese pitcher that they might might end up with. Seattle doesn't. I feel like Seattle needs the hitting. I think their pitching staff is pretty solid, but I mean, you could just dominate if they added Yamamoto to that staff. Is anyone giving Bellinger two hundred million dollars? I feel like that's a lot. I feel like he's probably. I think he's a Boris client. I think Scott Boris client. I think he's asking for a lot of years and asking for a lot of money. And a Jacob Wilson, nice. So we got the Matt uh, Matt Shaw. Saw so was one of our key guys here. Here's a purple chrome Jacob Wilson for the A's. Roy with the A's, 61 out of 50, sixth overall pick. No one wanted him straight up. Roy won them in the filler. Like, feeling like a pretty nice case so far, ladies and gentlemen. And Joe Whitman, 15 out of 99, green paper. Um, for EA and the Giants. And there's Jake DeLeo, Miami. That's going to be for Adam. Yeah, two two hundred million is a lot. Rather have Buxton, says Matt. Emerson. Maybe we'll find his auto somewhere. Max Clark. And Purple Luna, different Wyatt, Wyatt Kroll. Purple Lunar. 66 out of 199. Order 66. Execute order 66. All right, that's going to go to the Dodger. I'll be for Adam Kupperman. Christian Vaquero, 339 out of 499. Another Wyatt, Wyatt Langford, Wyatt Yoan Oak. And we've got a Garrett Forrester. Autograph for Tristan and the Pirates.
for our third autograph. Some glass coming up. And it's a Zenitello glass. Some, some of these can be autographed too, right? We've seen them numbered. The autograph possibilities are there too for certain players. And there's green grass, Rainer Arias, 88 out of 99. It's a cool looking parallel, EA with my rivals, the Giants. All right, halfway through the break. Move some, clean up some things around here. All right. What other big free agent names are? Bellinger's still out there. Yamamoto's obviously still out there. Blake Snell hasn't signed yet, right? Matt Chapman, I guess, still out there, although... Although I'm not sure where his bat is at. I guess Josh Hader's still out there. The other Japanese pitcher was Shota uh, Imanaga. I guess anyone who's out on the Yamamoto sweepstakes may pivot to Blake Snell or Shota. Everyone see the, uh, going back to Yamamoto, everyone see, there's like a, I haven't completely read this article yet, but it was in The Athletic, I think, about, um, about, Yoshi Yamamoto and how he trains. He's got a really unique training process. He has like a bag that he, apparently he doesn't lift weights, which is interesting. I mean, I mean it just says push-ups and sit-ups, old school style pull-ups, but it doesn't, apparently does not lift weights, which might be a weird thing for some clubs. And their train, training staff and their strength and conditioning crews. He he's apparently travels with a bag of just a bunch of like other stuff to get himself ready for games and stuff like that. Apparently it's worked, but um, he has size one size soccer balls, you know, the small ones, and throws those and then apparently throws javelins Here's Wyatt Langford. So he's, I, I got to dig up that article. Maybe I'll find it for the next box. But when Otani signed, where was I surprised? He will, I, he, well, I'll, I'll answer the second thing first. I think he, in the press conference, he said that he'll be ready to hit, um, to swing the bat and hit by opening day, by the start of the 2024 season. Was I surprised? 
I mean, I think I was. Even though he's been linked with the Dodgers for, since he first posted, basically, and even before then, I think the Dodgers tried to sign him out, out of, uh, ooh, nice Noble Meyer Black. A very Noble Meyer going to Adam and the Marlins. That's an out of 75. 49 out of 75. But with a free agent of that caliber of Shohei Otani, you just don't know. You know, you can't really expect him expect any free agent to be a lock. The rumors were the rumor mill was pretty quiet, you know, just basically reporters and people on Twitter just speculating on everything. Other teams seemed like they were they were getting more involved. I don't know, I don't know maybe they were just used as leverage or something like that by Otani's agent, but But I think simultaneously surprised, relieved that this process was over. And then, you know, nervous about how, how this is all going to play out. He does have an injury history. There's Jerron Watts Brown to 150. And the Dodgers' real issue is... Starting pitching, not necessarily hitting. You know, Tani really wouldn't be able to help with that until 2025. And really, that's, his, that's a recovery sort of season. So I'm sure he'll be on some sort of innings limit. So I think it was Gilo who was saying, Gabe was saying that he doesn't think we'll see Otani back at full, at the height of his powers until year three of the contract when he's fully, when he's hopefully pitching and hitting at at 100% levels. There's Ty Pete for Seattle. That's going to go to John. Dylan Head Paper is going to go to Henry Padres. I think I agree. That could be a, could be a big year for Otani and the Dodgers. Now the argument is, you know... Will the Dodgers keep... I mean, they have to, right? As soon as you sign Otani, it's not like you can just be like, all right, that's it. <laughs> Let's take the foot off the gas. they got to keep spending. It's like, you know, you don't buy... You don't buy... Uh, you don't... i use an example. If you don't buy, like, a sports car, you don't buy, like, an Aston Martin, and then... You don't buy... You don't buy a McLaren... Right, just to, to, to go cheap on the tires or something like that. Not put in that high octane gas. Another out of 10. The Honey Man. Do you know the Honey Man? Nine out of 10. Travis Honeyman going to Anthony and the Cardinals won that team in the filler. I think these are what, the Rose Gold? Look really sharp. Yeah, obviously, yeah, the DH position, huge. The Dodgers might have gotten, you know, might, might have gotten uh, Otani earlier if maybe the DH was in play. There is a, there is a, uh, I don't know, I haven't really looked this up myself, but there is an allegedly a story about Otani where since high school he had he had like a notebook or something. It could just be apocryphal, but had a notebook where he like wrote down his like sort of career path. By age this, I'm gonna do that. By age this, you know, I'll be in the United States playing baseball. At this age I wanna go to one of these teams and then you know, and then do that. Like he had like a certain set of goals that he has. Another Matt Shaw, nice. Cubs. Greg Your 13th overall pick. Yeah, people, like, people like Matt Shaw. Yeah, the honey man, the whole baseball thing doesn't work out. I think his career path is pretty obvious. Yeah. 
And here is a Brock Roden. The Brock Lobster. Do, 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 do. John with the Mariners. 32 out of 250. Nice purple chrome. And a Jace Boffrin, another green grass, 78 out of 99 for Adam in Toronto. All right, another box. We're almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. Use the full suit. Apparently Otani was uh, was moved by the by a video of Kobe Bryant making a recruiting video for Otani. This was back in 2017 or 2016 when Otani was first posted. Apparently, apparently Kobe Bryant had had filmed this recruitment video that they never ended up getting to show Otani or something like that. Anyway, I thought, thought that was kind of a cool story, and then they played it for him. There's another Yamamoto story that I'm trying to, I think it was in the same article where he says he throws soccer balls and javelins as part of a warm-up routine. Um, I think he has, he was, he's been planning his, his arrival to America for a number of years too. Did I read something where he had an associate or a friend of his who was going to be his translator, like go to, he went to school in the United States a few years ago to, to really start getting to know the country and the and the language and all that sort of stuff, so. I gotta find that article. I think I saw it in, uh, in The Athletic. Got the Honeyman to four ninety nine. Once again, that's Anthony with the Cardinals, third round pick. And we got a Braves autograph, Drew Hackenberg. Three forty nine out of four nine. Who was it? Wasn't there a quarterback named Hackenberg? Older brother Christian Hackenberg. Yeah, that's him. I guess Brandon Hackenberg plays soccer. There's an Adam Hackenberg. All were, were drafted in their respective sports. Their high school coach, iconic closer Billy Wagner. What a back of the baseball card. Talented family there. That's going to be uh, Braves. SKS won the Braves in the blaster. Knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. We're just learning things. Impress your friends at the bar. 
with your Hackenberg knowledge. Here's a mood ring, Colt Emerson. Nice. And that's for John and Seattle. I like these short prints. These fall maybe one, one or two, two per case. And we got Marcus Brown Gold, 42 out of 50. That's for PJ. Paul with that one. Yeah, multi-million dollar offers from the Mets. Interesting. Well, uh, Jeff Passan also, because there was we were starting to get reports that there were, that his value, their offers were getting up to three hundred million dollar contracts, and and I think Jeff Passan shot that down. Was just like, listen, no offers have been made. No one's even talking numbers right now. But maybe now we'll with bids going in, maybe we'll start to see. Uh, some actual dollars being talked about. There's 11 out of 75, Yellow Lunar, Hero Wyatt, another Wyatt. We got Emmett Olsen, 26 out of 50. And some Braden Taylor Glass. For Tampa Bay, that's going to be for Coppola. Emmett will go to Adam and the Fish. And here's a paper Cole Emerson. Paul Skeens. There's Jace, Purple Lunar to 199 for Toronto. That's also for Adam. Matt Shaw, Cubs is Greg. Greg's having a nice little break. And then uh, Tristan has the Pirates. It'd be nice to find this guy. This guy's autograph somewhere in here. Or a low numbered card. Your source, New York Post. Sometimes I get things right. All right, we got Teddy McGraw. I feel like we're dancing around a Colt autograph. Mariners, John, with the M's. Kevin Sim. A Blue Jay, Jace Boffrin. That's going to be for Adam and Toronto. Won that team in the filler, the blaster box. 267 out of 499. Refractor Auto. Onwards. Langford Chrome. And there's KJ Kafis, one oh seven out of two fifty. Purple Chrome for the Guardian. That's going to be for Tristan. All right, another three autos down. Two boxes to go. We're almost there. 
We're getting there. Here's the penultimate. Hydrated. Well, hopefully we'll see more free agent dominoes start to drop this week and before Christmas. Maybe some Christmas presents for some teams, fans of some teams. And with the end of this Monday, with the surprising win by the Seahawks over the Eagles. Eagles dropping three in a row. Seahawks breaking a a four-game losing streak or something like that. Week 16. Anything interesting happening in week 16? We got Thursday night Saints at Rams. All right, that's pretty interesting. I think both teams are trying to secure some playoff positions. We got a couple Saturday games. I like those Saturday games. I would love for us to get rid of to get rid of uh, Thursday night football, let's 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 have like a couple games on Friday, couple games on Saturday. I know there's I know like the NFL network networks and TV stations don't want to step on the toes of college football, but come on. Two Saturday games: Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Both teams just. Trying to, I guess both teams kind of are in the playoff hunt. And then Buffalo at Chargers. Chargers, Brandon Staley finally got fired. After the uh, the beatdown that my Raiders gave the Chargers. One of the one of those few bright spots of, of the Raiders season. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that sparks something in the offense. Maybe a little confidence helps them. Surprisingly, the Raiders' defense has been pretty decent. And an autographed glass card, Enrique Bradfield Jr. Autographed glass, lava for the O's. That's going to be for Neil. There you go, Neil. 44 out of 75. Very nice. Been a pretty uh, solid case overall. I know not everyone is hitting, but just overall, just feels feels like a good case. Scraps from the uh, the card cutting machine and Colson Montgomery to one ninety nine. That's Jordan with the White Sox. Wyatt Langford, nice lunar, seventy out of one twenty five. Tristan in Texas.
Oh, the Lakers down six to the Knicks. That's good defense. 343. Oh, there's plenty of time. 343. And then Tommy Troy, Raymond, and the Diamondbacks. Glass. Second half of this box right here. Who wins the Super Bowl? That's a good question. <sighs> yeah, let's start with who goes, right? I feel like I, l I would like to see from the AFC, if it's not going to be my Raiders, which is very, very unlikely, um, and I don't want to see Bengals without Joe Burrow, right? Browns, that would be kind of a cool story if the Browns make it out of the AFC with that defense. It's possible. Not probable, but possible. But Ravens or Dolphins, those top two seeds right there, I wouldn't mind seeing the Ravens or Dolphins from the AFC get in there. I think, you know... I like Mike McDaniel's vibe as a, as a coach, that dry humor that he has. I haven't watched any uh, Dolphins Hard Knocks, but I'm sure he's featured heavily there. There's uh, Braden Taylor, Tampa Bay Rays, Icapola on the board with an auto, 88 out of 99. So yeah, I mean, just for the, just for the, the, uh, the press conferences alone, I would like to see Miami out there. And I would have said, if you talked to me four weeks ago, I would have said the Eagles. But maybe this is just a little stumble. Maybe they'll, they'll turn things around the next few games. But Niners, if, as long as the Niners are healthy, right? That team looks like it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it to the Super Bowl. Dolphins, Niners, Ty saying is Seahawks. Uh, I mean that'd be kind of that'd be a cool story, good underdog story. I mean you saw you saw Pete Carroll get the most out of that team. Still a good coach. And then we've got Person Walter, Waldrep. Not derp. Drip. I it doesn't feel like the Chiefs here, does it? I mean, until someone beats them, you know, that's... You know, it's... But it just something just feels off about the Chiefs this year. Their defense is much improved, but... I mean, you know, but I think they're I think they're really missing a guy like Tyree Hill. A couple Colt Emersons. Here's this one's number. I'd like to see the Dolphins. Dol Dolphins, Dolphins, uh, Dolphins, Niners. I think would be would be pretty fun to see. Mark saying Bills Mafia is no joke. Take it from a Pats fan. There's Max Clark to 250. Nice one for Detroit. That'll be for Mark B. All right, there's our three autos right there, and we made it. Final box. 
Good luck, everybody. May we find hits for the hit list. I would like to see, uh, yeah, I would like to see, Bills has got to make a Super Bowl appearance, try to, try to knock one out. That'd be good for the hobby. You know, people who are, who are sitting on a lot of Josh Allen rookies, I'm sure would love to see him knock out a Super Bowl. That would be a, for nostalgia purposes. For nostalgia purposes, what about a Bills Cowboy Super Bowl? With the Bills winning? All right, good luck. Last box. Thanks everybody for sticking with me, hanging with me, watching with me, keeping me company. Helps the helps the break feel like it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot quicker. Come on, Lakers are now seven points down. One a minute twenty left. What's happening here? And we got a Dylan Head black chrome autograph. That's for Henry and the Padres. 49 out of 75. These parallels look pretty sharp. It's all coming to a head. Gotta get those rebounds. Uh, place kicker Ryan Lindell is still with us. 46 years old. No idea what he's doing now. Oh, physical education teacher and a football coach at Eastlake High School in Washington State. Don Beebe is still with us. 59 years old. You're not done yet? No idea is what, what he's doing here. No, not even close. This break takes like over an hour. Easy. What do you mean you're not even close? You got just that long. Not like Jason. Jason can get these done like in 50 minutes. Just like, how does he do that? These take me hour 15 every time. Unless I'm looking up Don Beebe, whether he's alive or dead. <laughs> he's alive. Who do, who do you want to see in the Super Bowl besides your own team? Like this year? Yeah, just like what would be fun to watch? Um, you know, like, hey, let's get the, get the guys together, get the get friends and family together. We're watching the Super Bowl. It's going to be a fun one. Even like, new, like neutrals are going to be excited about. Uh, Jags versus... T-Law? Yeah, T-Law. Um, Probably Niners are going to win it, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so which AFC team do you want to see? Yeah. Wyatt Langford, Chase Davis. I'm, I say uh, Ra Ravens-Niners just because of the... Ravens-Niners. the whole thing with, like, the Super Bowl... Um, what do you call it? Like, the logo this year. So the last two years, in mm -hmm. 2021, it was... Uh, the logo was orange and, and yellow for... And this was before the Super Bowl like happened. 
All right, like the color scheme for the yeah, branding. Yeah, so was Rams be... versus Bengals ended up. Being oh, green. I see what you're saying. There's Jack and Holiday to 125. Last year was green and red. Neil. Green and red, so Chiefs and Eagles. Wow. And this is like when they were posted. Like this was before. Uh, so it is scripted. Yes. What's up, Grizz? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Matt. I think it'd be fun to see uh, see uh, Bills Cowboys in the Super Bowl. For I mean, '90s nostalgia. I feel like is at an all-time high, right? After, after the Bills just put a smackdown on them. There's Jack Hurley, Raymond of the Diamondbacks. Happy holidays to you too, Grizz. Yeah, happy holidays, Grizz. Jack Hurley, three oh three. Out of four ninety nine, I feel like these are like surf brands in one name. <laughs> Jack Hurley, Raymond with the Diamondbacks, right? Isn't, isn't like Hurley like a skateboard brand or something like that, a surf brand? And there's a Jack Surfboards or something. Yo, Andre Vargas to four ninety nine. For the Dodgers, that's for Adam. That's Max Clark. That mouse out of the way. Let's see what else we have here. And this looks like our last autograph. Kemp Alderman. For the fish, that's going to be for Adam with the team he won in the filler. Let's see if we have any low numbered cards. We've got a Wyatt Langford. Wyatt Langford to Hero Wyatt. To another Hero Wyatt. To a Wyatt Kroll, maybe? No, no Wyatt Krolls here. No other Wyatts. And then a green. Four out of 99, Jesue de Pola. Dodgers have a lot of outfield prospects. Maybe some of those guys can turn into pitchers, to starting pitchers. You might see that at some point for the Dodgers. All right, recap. Got a nice glass auto right here, which is pretty cool. There's your mood ring. There's your Matt Shaw's, Noble Myers, nice purple Jacob Wilson. Another Matt Shaw, Refractor this time. Some Rose Gold, Jacob. I, I like the out of 10 and out of 25. There's Juan's brother. And there's, and that's that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, and this was a 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Pick your team, number eight. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.